Hey, what's up? Hey, so I actually wanted to share um, a new build that I that I put together last night for both Megatron and for um, Optimus Primal, and they're using the different fossilizer armors. You can see um, Megatron is wearing Paleotrex, and then we have um, Optimus using um, Ractonite. So um, I'll go over how, how to make these builds right now with you. Um, it's actually super duper easy, and it's probably not going to take a lot of time. And so let's start with Megatron. Um, as you can see, it's kind of inspired from the other build that I did, um, the Primal build, which kind of has like that harness. And it's used, uh, it, it's used obviously similar pieces because it's failure tracks. Um, the configuration is a little bit similar, but slightly different. Um, yeah, as you can see on his left hand, he's wielding this like sword, I mean not sword, um, axe plus mace on the bottom doohickey. And then really the rest of the Paleo Trex bot is this um, front armor for like the torso and stuff. As you can see, it covers the chest. It covers kind of like the waist area and even like the crotch piece. And it even has like this belt that goes um, across the back. And even just by looking at it, I mean, you guys have a sharp eye. I think you'll be able to figure out how to do this. And so, yeah, I mean, nothing on the back. Same old Megatron. Maybe I just um, configured the wings a little bit differently or something, but mostly it's the same Megatron and so it, it's super duper easy so let's start with um, the arm um, you just pop pop that out oops just hit the camera that's a really snug fit but yeah that's really what it is you just kind of pop that out and then move that to the side readjust the camera and so yeah super duper easy to see and look it's like it, it's not gonna fall off. It's super duper in there, like swimwear. So let's start first with the waist, or just let's go over like what it's made of. So this is the obviously the Paleotrex thigh piece, um, the robot thigh piece, and right, right here is the dinosaur piece, right? And that's a little buckler, and those are the dinosaur hands. And then hidden, the coup de gras is in the back is actually. Um, the little spine piece, and I'll show you in a second. So anyway, yeah, that's what it looks like. And so to take this apart, so first, uh, undo the the robot feet. I mean the dinosaur dinosaur feet. Yeah, did you see that there was this tension there when I took it off? Like it's kind of cool. See that little cavity right there, and that little um, heel spur for the di dinosaur. It kind of just like plugs in there, and then you you bend. Um, can see it, but you bend the dinosaur foot back to cover it. And same thing on this side, that little heel spur. Plug it into that little cavity there. And just kind of. Oops. You got to make sure the dinosaur foot. You got to make sure the dinosaur foot clears um, Megatron's back piece. And dude, it, it, <laughs> it's supposed to plug in there. It came off. Jeez. So you plug that back in here. Yeah, and then you just plug that bit back here. And dude, it's like I said, it's just it's a solid waste piece once you get in there, it's not coming off. Yeah. See, so anyway, to take it off, you pull off the hands and you see how it's all kind of coming across apart. And this is just folded down in here. And then we can just lift it up. So sorry, I'll just put Megatron off to the side. Sorry, Lord Megatron. Let me stand you up. The disrespect I'm showing. Okay, whatever. <laughs> so earlier, so this is how it was. And these were like the hands um, that wrapped around. So this is what it looks like actually. If you take it off, the hands that wrapped around his waist. And so it's just the dinosaur head, the dinosaur hands, the buckler, um, plugged into the waist thing and plugged into the the robot legs and plugged into that spine. Now, now this is what the spine piece, you guys know what I'm talking about, right? That's what it looks like, but what you wanna do is you actually wanna twist it right there. And the reason you wanna twist that is it's going to plug in to that like empty cavity right there. And so you start, all right here, let's just have him sit down. You start by plugging this in back here. You see that? So just, see, this is loose right now. But you start by plugging it back there, and then you get the shape all proper. You hinge this down, then you plug in the 
hand waist thingies. And boom, there you go. And like I said, the shit's not, oh, it's not coming off. This, this plug then tight. And so we got him right there. Give homeboy his, uh, his axe. Even like, I don't know. Maybe you can even plug the, plug the X in here if you want. Um, yeah, you know, that's our guy. That's that's our guy. You know what? It looks better on the other hand. Um, but yeah, that's our guy, Lord Megatron. Wearing his super duper snug Paleotrex um, harness. And ready to take on the world. Yeah, pretty cool, right? I, I thought so. I thought so. And I just feel like sharing. I'll say you can like... What's kind of funny is you can get these hands. And like you can maneuver it up the middle. So that looks like he's scheming. You know, like, yes, yes. <laughs> but anyway. So yeah, I like him kind of to the side. Because it looks like, I don't know, like a V formation or something. But yeah, that's our guy. Boom, if you want, you can borrow that helmet from Primal. Or Optimal Optimal mom, 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 Monkey. But anyway, that's our guy. Oops. So let me move him to the side. So now, let's go over, um, let's go over Op Optimal, Optimus Primal with Ractonite armor. So this is actually the first one, um, first Beast War guy that I've given Ractonite armor to. And so what he looks like is, he looks like this... Um, this is not a Triceratops, I forget what type of dinosaur it is, but it looks like it, it's had a, it has that for the headdress, you know, for a head. And then it has this, like, kind of chest harness. And he has his weapon thing. Um, let's go over how it looks like. Oh, yeah, I'll give you the side profile. Yeah, this is how it looks. I mean, super duper simple, right? I think you guys can figure it already just by looking at it. But it's a super duper easy way to do it, and it's also kind of like a harness thing, because they don't have any 5mm ports. Um... I'll start with the weapon. As you can see, this weapon is falling apart because, <coughs> excuse me, it doesn't really plug in too much. So what I did is I just like frictioned it. I just kind of put that there. And I just kind of put that there. And then I just, I don't know, I just closed it up on itself. Like, who cares, you know? And they're just standing on my shelf. And dude, it's good enough. And, you know, I'm the only one who's going to look at it. I'm the only one who's going to play with it. I don't give a cuff. What anyone else thinks but yeah that's his like dual blade like um weapon and stuff and you know just having fun with your toys i'll move that to the side oh it's obviously made from the um, the dinosaur hip part with the um, primal swords plugged in and like i said these two things cinch together here dude it's it's i don't know i think it's pretty secure dude it's like a helicopter blade type thing so now let's look at our guy um optimus primal now this i thought was really cool so i think the build wise is pretty basic there wasn't that much i could do um, but this is what I found really, really, really interesting. So we have this guy, he looks like a, like a college football team mascot or something, right? Big dinosaur face. Um, yeah, with all these dinosaur abilities and stuff, but check this out. So we close the mouth. And the one, you can, oops, you can kind of tilt this back. And then, so it's like, fine. It's, it's not really covering his face at this point. It's like, it's more of like a headdress piece, right? And that's cool. You could see his face. Um, like I said, you could pull it down, so it's more of, like, the, um, dinosaur mode and stuff, but here's, here's what I think is really cool, so I'm just gonna pop the head off, um, so I can show you. Do, do you see this? The cavity that's inside the ractonite, um, body? Dude, it's almost like a perfect fit for his head. Is that far out or what? I, I mean, seriously, I'm like, oh my god, was this made for it? Like, far out, right? It's a, so cool. So, anyway... Let me show you how to make this make this thing. And also there's a fake illusion. See that little see that little peg? It makes it look like it's actually plugged in here. But it's not. But yeah, it's secure too. It's secure too. Well, maybe not as secure as the other one, but it's super duper easy. So this is just made from the ractonite face, plugged into the ractonite like dinosaur torso. And as you can see, the tail part is extended or the robot head, neck, tail, whatever you want to call it, and it's plugged into the rubber tail bit. And it's connected using the two small dinosaur hands, connected to the large dinosaur legs on both sides, and then it's connected to that crotch um, waist piece in the middle. So here, let's just take it off really quick. We'll start by moving the head. 
And so, yeah, he's kind of got this, I don't know what you want to call it, but like I said, it, it fits snug in there. I mean, not snug, but it's, it has like full clearance. I thought that was so cool. So is there a toy god who's allowing me to do this? <laughs> anyway, so um, in order to remove it, you can just unplug this. And then you just have this piece by itself. And the rest is just this. Yeah, it's super duper easy, right? It's just a harness. Um, yeah, it's just a harness that here, let's assemble it and see what it would look like. Um, eh? I can't, how come I can't figure this out? Oh, okay. Yeah, it's a harness that looks like, like this basically. Um, and with the dino head, so it's just like that. It's just like that, and it's basically like, plop, something like that, right? So here, just together. So again, this bottom piece. Just using the crotch connector, the two large dyno arms and the small dyno arms, connected to the torso, extend, extend it down with the head. Um, you can get this just situated like so. Or you know what? Let's start with let's start with the harness. Situate that and line up that little peg right there with this hole. Maybe one of these days I'm I'm actually going to drill a hole in there to. Get this to work but anyway you just kind of situate that there and then you have these curling back up like this and then you just plug those bits into here which i'm having a lot of difficulty doing um so yeah those plugs those bits are plugged into there as you can see it just kind of hangs sorry about that hangs down and, um, yeah, that's it. That's it. Um, however you want to maneuver it. And, yeah, just kind of fiddle with it until you get, like, a nice, good, firm um, config that you like. And that's our guy. You can open open the dyno up. And, so, yeah, he's like, rah! Or tilt the head back a little bit. And now you can reveal Optimus Primal again. He has this cool helmet protecting shield thing and then you give him his little helicopter blade and um and all is right with the world so we have our guy Op Ractonite Optimus Primal over here and then we have Lord Megatron over here play nice guys Play nice guys but um but yeah that's kind of what we have kind of what we have and so oh, oh no Lord Megatron's legs are a little bit loose but yeah just cool just cool ways to enjoy your toys and I feel like if I just record this any longer they're gonna fall apart but anyway cool ways to enjoy your toys all right bye